Here in this video we will showcase the evolutionary line that brought about the three species of modern day elephants. We will dive into the past and start from the first proboscidean, that is the name of the group of animals that the elephants belong to. So let's go step by step from the first of these animals to the modern day African and Asian elephants. So let's get to it. Only around 5 to 6 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs, the first of the ancestors of the elephants evolved from primitive mammals that lived under the nose of these reptilian overlords. The first of them was the Erytherium, which as you can guess was a small animal only about 20 centimeters or 8 inches tall and weighing only 5 to 6 kilograms or 11 to 13 pounds. But big things come from small beginnings as they say. Erytherium is a basal species to which all other primitive proboscideans evolved from, including, later on, our African and Asian giants we see today. From this small animal, we also get two very early proboscideans, the Mauritherium and the Salomia. The Mauritherium, first of all, is more well known as being a semi-aquatic mammal with short, stubby legs that live around 37 to 35 million years ago. The Mauritherium was smaller than most or all later proboscideans, standing only 70 centimeters or 2.3 feet high at the shoulder and weighing 235 kilograms or 518 pounds. It did not have a trunk yet, but has already developed tusk-like incisors that look kinda like hippo's teeth rather than elephant tusks. The other one, the Salomia, was even older than the Mauritherium and lived around 45 million years ago. Both of them went extinct and were not really a part of the lineage that evolved into the modern day elephants. There were many more of these extinct relatives of the elephants that developed along different branches of the evolutionary tree. Some of the examples are the Phosphatherium which existed around 47 million years ago, the African Numidotherium which was seen around 46 million years ago and the Dauritherium which was even older branching from the Erytherium some 55 million years ago. All these three distinct and extinct species are older than the Mauritarium. So aside from these, there was one species that was a direct ancestor to the modern elephants. Its name is the Paleomastodon. Its fossils have been found in Africa and lived around 36 to 35 million years ago. They are believed to be the ancestors of elephants and mastodons. The Paleomastodon lived in marshy semi-aquatic swamps during the middle late Eocene to the early Oligocene. It was about 2.2 meters or 7 feet 3 inches tall at the shoulder and weighed about 2 to 2.5 tons. The lower tusks were flat rather than pointed cones as we can see in modern elephants and they were probably used to scoop plants from swampy water. From the Paleomastodon there were three branches that spread out from it. The first is the one that gave rise to the species of Mastodons. Another one which gave rise to Stegodons. Both of these species, though related to elephants, are not exactly ancestors to them. The Stegodons and the Mastodons developed on different parallel lines and went extinct about the middle to the late Pleistocene era. So between 10 to 6 million years ago, a species evolved and became known as the first elephant or otherwise known as the prime elephant. This species of proboscidean was the direct ancestral node to four different evolutionary branches that gave rise to the African elephant the Paleoloxodons, the Mammoths and the Asian Elephants. It had four tusks, which is an unusual trait not shared with its descendants. It had two pronounced tusks in the upper jaw which became stronger and increased in length over time and two smaller ones in the lower jaw. It lived in the forests and savannas of Africa and that's where the modern elephants arose. And lastly, the branch of the elephants, or the Asian elephants, arose. This genus had around 10 extinct species and subspecies, with the only extant species, the Elephas maximus, having four subspecies within its fold. The Indian elephant under the name Maximus indicus, the Maximus maximus which is found in Sri Lanka, the Maximus sumatranus which is found in Southeast Asia and the island of Sumatra, and lastly the Maximus bonensis which is found in Borneo. So that's the entire elephant evolutionary lineage in a nutshell, from the first one to the modern day elephants. Anyway, subscribe, hit that like button and smash that bell icon for updates on new videos just like this. Take care guys.